VA Home Loan Pre-Approval Don't shop for homes without it. A VA loan is one of the most attractive mortgages on the market, if you qualify for it. The benefits of these loans are significant. 0% down payment, no mortgage insurance, and competitive interest rates. But you can only get one if you're an eligible member of the military community. And the best way to find out if you're eligible? A VA Home Loan Pre-Approval What is a VA Home Loan Pre-Approval? A mortgage pre-approval is key for any home buyer, military service or not. The pre-approval process allows you to connect with a lender and find out how much they may lend you to buy a house. May is the operative word here. Although the pre-approval process does involve a thorough vetting, see what we did there, of your finances, the lender can't guarantee a number or approval decision until the loan is fully documented, the property is appraised, and the title search is complete. For this reason, we recommend getting a full pre-approval, not just a pre-qualification, from a lender. The lender issues a pre-approval after receiving your complete loan file minus the property itself. It's a document saying that you are fully approved, pending a property, purchase contract, and appraisal. This type of full-blown, pre-property approval inspires the most confidence in sellers and their agents. Why VA Loan Borrowers Need to Get Pre-Approved A VA Home Loan Pre-Approval is important because only certain borrowers are eligible. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs VA, ensures loans given by mortgage lenders to active duty military service members, veterans, and some surviving spouses. The pre-approval gives you an opportunity to do two things right up front. Find a VA-approved mortgage lender and make sure you're eligible for the VA loan program. How do you accomplish these? Well, you can start your lender search with Google. Just type in VA lenders and you'll get a lot of results. You can also contact local mortgage companies, banks, and lenders to ask whether they offer VA loans. And if you're not sure how to choose a lender, we've got a guide for that. It's really important that you work with a lender you trust who has deep VA experience, and who has a history of closing loans on time. Verifying your VA loan eligibility. So that takes care of finding a VA lender. As for the second step, making sure you're eligible, your lender can actually handle that. They'll request your certificate of eligibility, CO, from the VA to make sure you meet the minimum service requirements, and that you have enough entitlement benefit available to buy the home. You can request your CO on your own as well, by submitting Form 16-1880, which you can download here, to the VA. But it may be easier to let your lender request it, since it's essential to the pre-approval process anyway. VA loans are available to active duty and veteran service members of any branch of the military, including reservists and those who have served with NOAA and the National Guard, as long as you completed the service minimums. You must also be in good standing as a current service member, or have been honorably discharged if you're a veteran. Find out how much you can borrow. Verifying your eligibility is a crucial step in your VA loan application. But it's not the only one. Once a lender pulls your co, they look at your finances to determine how much you can borrow. VA loan requirements can vary slightly among lenders, since the VA gives them flexibility in deciding who qualifies. Most lenders will have minimum credit score requirements, between 580 and 620, though some may go lower. Typically, you'll need a debt-to-income ratio of 41%, or less to qualify for a VA loan, though again, lenders can approve you with higher ratios, if you have compensating factors, such as significant savings or great credit. A loan officer will ask you for supporting documents to verify your employment and finances, including pay stubs, tax returns, bank statements, proof of income from disability payments, child support, or alimony, if you choose to use these to qualify. After reviewing your finances, the loan officer will issue a pre-approval letter that tells you how much you can borrow. Then you can set your home buying budget and start looking at properties. Open the door to your new home literally. These days, it's a seller's market, which means there are often way more home buyers than there are homes. 
sellers and their real estate agents don't want to spend time showing homes to someone who can't actually afford to buy when they have pre-approved buyers literally and figuratively knocking down their doors. A pre-approval letter tells them you've already been vetted by a lender and encourages them to show you their homes. What do I need to get pre-approval for a VA home loan? For VA home loan pre-approval, lenders need information about your income, assets, debts, and credit. VA lenders may require the following. Minimum credit score between 580 and 620. Down payment if you do not have full entitlement, and your partial entitlement is not sufficient to cover a down payment on a new loan. A debt to income ratio, DTI, determined by the automated underwriting system used to review your loan file. Proof of income, debt to income ratio, DTI, is determined by the automated underwriting system used to review your loan file. These are general guidelines, but lenders can set their own credit score and DTI guidelines, and some may be more flexible than others. Because of the variability, it's smart to request mortgage quotes from at least three VA-approved lenders. The lender may need other documents related to your service to process the loan, too, such as the following. DD-214. Discharge and record of separation document, if you're retired. Commanding officer statement of service. Confirms your service and expected length of service, if you're on active duty. Proof of childcare expenses. Pre-approved for a VA loan? Great. Here's the next step. In the current real estate market, chances are any house you fall in love with is going to have a lot of suitors, aka other home buyers. So how do you stand out? It all comes down to your offer. Your real estate agent will help you write the offer, which you can strengthen by agreeing to pay for any fixes required after the appraisal. The appraisal is a mandatory part of the loan process, but it can be a touchy subject for sellers when it comes to VA loans. VA guidelines require that a VA-approved appraiser inspect the property before a purchase finalizes. If there are any deficiencies on the property, such as torn up flooring or other safety and livability problems, the seller will need to have those fixed before the loan can close. That requirement can make sellers skittish about VA loans. They might even ask you to pay for repairs. We don't recommend that. The seller could cancel your contract and sell the home to someone else for a higher price after you've made the repairs. Talk over the issues with your loan officer and agent. There may be creative ways to get repair the issues, especially if they are minor. Anticipate appraisal gaps. The VA also prohibits lenders from approving VA loan amounts that are higher than the home's actual value. So if you put in an offer for $300,000, but the home appraised at $275,000, the lender can only let you borrow $275,000. You'll need to pay the $25,000 difference before closing or, unfortunately, look for another property. Now, not everyone has an extra $25,000 to put down on their house, nor do they want to. Owing more on your house, than its worth is known as being underwater on your mortgage. Instead of building equity, you're paying more for a home, than you could likely recoup in its value. But if you decide you want to move forward, you can still get the loan as long as you can pay the difference in cash.